Welcome to Unruly Nation uh, Presents. We're here with Jesse Ray of Jesse Ray and the Carolina Catfish. What's going on? What's up? <laughs> so, man, like, I have never seen so many people that work here excited for you to be, for somebody to be playing. You are definitely a very talked about name. Uh, are you from Muskegon? I'm not, no. You're not? Where are you from? No, I'm from Grand Rapids. Are you still living there? Uh, I, I live in a suburb just outside of Grand Rapids, but I claim Grand Rapids. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, so what's the uh, music scene like in Grand Rapids these days? It's blossoming, um, especially after uh, the last couple of years. It's, it's great to see newer acts come out and uh, different genres. People are trying new stuff, and even the bands that were rocking before are just coming back even stronger, so it's, it's great to see. Um, especially as a musician, so there, there's hope. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's a lot of prospects. Yeah, for and, sure. And when you say the like different genres, like uh, I was really loving your music tonight, and because uh, I mean it was definitely had like a lot of blues in it, it had a lot of rockabilly. Like, how would you describe your music? Or maybe I'm wrong in saying that. No, um, you're totally right. Those are those are my main influences. Um, it's it's hard like it's Americana, but you know when a because I I think it's Americana. I don't know. It's American music. It's American style. Um, there, but you know you say Americana and people get like uh, something in their head or that it's just one specific thing. But sometimes I think that word's overused. Like I've had people describe my tattoos as like Americana and stuff. Yeah. What, what does it even mean? Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's like it's a little bit of all of it, though. You know, like um, rock and roll, blues, a little bit of country. You gotta have a little, little bit of country, and then. Um, oh, yeah, I love that Johnny Cash cover you did. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was really good, man. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my grandpa told me once that we uh, played it too fast, <laughs> and uh, he was right. We we do play it too fast. So. Are you gonna change? No, I'm not. <laughs> Does he come to your show much? <laughs> he, he does whenever we're, uh, we're down around him, so he's a great dude. I, uh, I actually owe a lot of um, our style to him because he used to uh, take me out to car shows when I was a kid, and so all the, the oldies were playing at car shows, so I just I listened to a lot of oldies. I didn't, I didn't listen to the music that everybody else was listening to when I was growing up, but um, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm better for it. Like, I'm better, but... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm just different. Definitely influenced you. Yeah, I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> well, you're in good company. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's awesome, man. Like, when did you go get into music? Like, really, like playing music? Uh, I was eight years old, and um, my uh, maternal grandfather uh, played played instruments, played music, and I hassled him to get, get me a ukulele. Uh, I wanted to play guitar, but my fingers weren't weren't long enough, and they didn't even know if I'd be into it yet, but uh, he got me a baritone ukulele. I still have it, and I was just rocking that ukulele. Oh, so. I've heard baritone ukulele uh, is a really good uh, stepping stone into guitar, because it has a lot of the same chords and all that. Yeah, definitely. You are right. So, uh, once I got a guitar in my hands, it was... It was, easy transition. Just, just, I would I wouldn't say easy. I still had to learn how to play guitar, but like uh, there was a lot of similar carryover um, for sure. Yeah. When did the harmonica make it make its way in? Uh, oh, that's a tough one. It was after I learned how to play guitar. Um, my gammy, uh, my the grandfather I was just talking about. She she really liked a lot of uh, folk music. And uh, I started listening to Bob Dylan and stuff like that, like the early stuff. Um, and I was playing a lot of just, I don't know, dicking around with the harmonica. It was, it was fun to play. It's a lot of fun once you get the, uh, the strumming and the, you know, doing all that stuff. But there's a, there's a lot to it. Um, I'm still not good at it. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I got you fooled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now. Dude, like we both had a long day. Like, like this is how we, this is how we do it. 
I don't know. Do you have any uh, any projects on the horizon? Any like big shows coming up? I can't think of a single one. We're just trying to get back to back to playing regularly. Okay. Um, uh, this summer has been a blast already. Uh, we are playing Beaver Island Music Festival in July, which is going to be a riot. I am so excited for that. I just to go to Beaver Island. Yeah? Yeah. We should. It's, it's a good time. History. Yeah. The Beaver Island itself? Oh, yeah, Beaver Island itself. Yeah. I'm yeah a, I don't want to go into that. That's a weird yeah. tangent. Yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs> I'm a huge nerd, yeah. so like I've got to I got to look up the history of. King? I did. Yes. I did know that. <laughs> Strang. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we're uh, we're on the road or something, we're always looking for like historic landmarks or like you know stuff that people like to go see. That I don't I don't know. It's it's no, fun. No, it's you got to awesome. you got to go check that stuff out. Absolutely. All right, that's cool. Um, uh, have you ever written a song about something you saw on the road? What's that? Have you ever seen? Have you ever written a song about something you saw on the road? Has that ever inspired you? I've written a song about something I saw on the road. Um, something that I saw on the road. I've written. I've written songs about stuff I've done on the road. I've written songs about being on the road. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, something like that. Uh, uh, I do, I do. Uh, you gotta, you gotta throw one to Dingo, though. You know, you gotta, you gotta throw him in a couple of songs. Like, uh, what is it? Top Heavy Woman. I love that song. Yeah, yep. Is that, is that, got, that's got my good my buddy, favorite. got my good buddy by my side. You know, rocking and rolling. It's all about missing your wife when you're on the road. Oh. Um, well, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's all over the place. But um, there's just something about, like, traveling with your best friend, you know, sweating in a van, smelling each other's B.O., and playing, playing shows and having a good time. And I don't know. I, w- I wouldn't change any of that. Yeah. The kind of bonding that you, that it's difficult to put the words. You can't. You really can't. No. Yeah. Cool, man. This is my life partner, man. He's my homeboy. Yeah. Try getting him in. He said, I'm not sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> Still calm over. Anyway, <laughs> now, next time you guys are through, you guys are gonna come through here again, right? No, never. No, never. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have anything on the books right now. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, uh, but uh, if we wanted to hear your music, if we wanted to look you guys up, what would we do? Uh, well, we're on Bandcamp. Um, we're on Spotify. We've got a Facebook page. We're Jesse Ray and the Carolina Catfish, and we do have a website. Jesse Ray and the Carolina Catfish. Awesome. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> That's great, man. Well, yeah. I really appreciate you coming out tonight. The concert was fucking awesome. Uh, and thank you for talking with us, man. Well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, I always love playing on Ruli. Um, this is just a great spot, and I am I could express my gratitude more. To uh, just be right, I sound like a fucking moron. Just <laughs> I am so happy to be here right now that I I can't even talk about it. So I'm just gonna give you all a big big hug. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know idiot. why I did that. We're, we're we're leaving this in. By the way. We are. <laughs> we're good. We're good.